Zoom in, zoom out. Zoom in, zoom out. Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? It's me, your boy, Malik, holding it down one more time for Power Director University. All right, my Power Director peeps, you wanna know how to go ahead and get down on some Zooms? I'm gonna show you how to do your Zoom thing in Power Director. So let's jump off in to Power Director 14 Ultimate and make it happen. Here we are in CyberLake Power Director 14 Ultimate. Three quick things before we get into this. If you like the content I'm bringing to you, click the thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction. If you need help, leave your comments below. I will definitely get back with you. And if you want more juicy goodness like this on a regular basis, you gotta subscribe to the channel so you know when I upload a video. So if you like the content, go ahead and subscribe. Let's get it cracking. Now, zooming is pretty simple to do on PowerDirector. It's really about knowing how to use the tool, where the tool is at, and then how to use keyframes to help you zoom in and zoom out. So the first thing I wanna do is I'm going to drag a video clip down into the timeline. Now once this clip is down in the timeline, you see that this bar here above the timeline is activated. So we wanna to go to Tools. And when we left click on Tools, we wanna to click on Power Tools. Once we're on this screen, we wanna click on the box for Video Crop. And once we do that, we wanna click on Crop Video. So this opens up the Video Crop Designer tool and we can see that on the left hand side we have one keyframe that is red, which is the beginning keyframe. And then we have a keyframe all the way to the right, which is the end keyframe. This is the beginning of this clip and the end of this clip. So if you drag your playhead by left clicking on it and dragging it across, you see that it automatically applies a zoom. You see this box here? That's what's visible, anything inside of this box. So there's already a zoom that's applied to this. So you need to make the zoom your own, make it what you want it to be. All right, so for this first position, I'm gonna leave it all the way zoomed out. So what I wanna do is I wanna zoom in right here on this boat that I have my cursor on top of. So I'm gonna drag the playhead to a position where I want the zoom to actually take place. And now, so I have that here, I'm going to need to add a keyframe. So I'm gonna click on add keyframe at current location. So now it activates the grab point so that I can zoom in to where I want to zoom to and where I want to zoom to is right on this boat. So I'm gonna place my cursor here until I see two arrows and a diagonal line. I'm gonna left click, hold down my mouse and drag it in. Then I'm gonna place my cursor over this blue dot. This blue dot is the center of where you're zooming. And when I place it over that blue dot, you'll see it creates crosshairs. So once I see the crosshairs, I'm gonna left click, hold down my mouse, and drag this to where I want it to be. So this is where my first position will be. This is where it's gonna zoom into. Now I have to also tell Power Director, keep it zoomed in at that spot. If I don't, if I just drag my playhead again, you'll see that this zoom gets bigger because there's, at the end, it actually zoomed all the way back out. And I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is move my playhead to a position where I want the zoom to stop at, right? So this is where the zoom came. Now I want the zoom to stop here. And now I'm not gonna click on add keyframe, I'm gonna click on duplicate keyframe. When I click on that, it's gonna ask me, do you wanna duplicate the previous keyframe or the next keyframe? I wanna duplicate the previous keyframe so that the zoom stays exactly at the same position. And so now what will happen is once I get to this position, it's gonna stay zoomed in at this point and then it's gonna start zooming back out again after that point. So I want it to zoom out pretty fast. So I'm going to create another zoom point here by clicking on 
duplicate keyframe. And this time I'm going to duplicate the next keyframe, the keyframe that's at the end. And this way it will stay at that zoomed in point from where I have the playhead until the end of the video. So I'm going to click on duplicate next keyframe. And it's not fully zoomed out. So if you wanted it to be fully zoomed out, you would place your cursor here, pull these grab points out. As a matter of fact, let's just pretend like that's what we want. Let's say we want it zoomed all the way out at the end. Then I can grab these grab points with my mouse and it'll click into place. And then I can click this select next keyframe button. It'll take me to the last keyframe and I could do the same thing. And now if I preview this, we'll see that it zooms in, stays zoomed in and then zooms out. So that's good. So now that it's how I like it, I'm going to click on OK. And we got some beautiful zoom in, zoom out footage for your Power Director loving going on right up in here at Power Director University. All right, guys, you know the routine. The thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction. Click it, like it, live it, love it, hug it. You gotta show the thumb some love, baby. Show it some love, okay? Comments, you know I love comments, and when you leave me comments, I respond. If I can't help you, I'll point you in the right direction to get you the help that you deserve. And last, but definitely not least, if you want more Juicy Power Director goodness on the reg, you gotta make sure that you subscribe to my channel, all right? If you don't subscribe, you won't know when I upload new videos and you'll be missing out on the fun and the learning, all right? So sub it up, baby, sub it up. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.